Good morning, I'm Kim. I'm Hayden. I'm Brad. And we're 626 Ohana, California. Today, sadly, we are saying goodbye to the ball. Which is, I love our home resort. <laughs> Yeah, so we are being transferring to Animal Kingdom, our other home resort. It is, so that's exciting because it's actually the first time we're staying there. So we have a Savannah view, so we'll do a room tour. I'm excited about that. But also part of our family, my brother, sister-in-law, and niece and nephews are leaving. So it's day six of our Epix 17 day vacation. So we'll show you our, our travels and how to do a transfer and everything involved and we'll go from there and later tonight we're gonna hang out at animal kingdom all right we'll see you in a little bit okay, bye. so we can't say goodbye to the poly without a little stitch so one two oh. <laughs> all right bite into it let's see what it looks like the stitch all right i'm gonna help you let's see what this tastes like it's a lot of fun not it's okay it's more fun pictures <laughs> You made a mess. I know. You have to pick that up. I. All right. Sadly, stitch is not that great. So after checking out of the poly, we caught our ride over to Animal Kingdom Lodge, Kidani Village. Now this is a beautiful DVC resort, and it's the first time we've actually stayed here. What's great about it is even if you don't have Savannah view. You can go out into the lobby area and there's a couple of lookouts so you can overlook the whole savanna and look at all the different animals out there. And there's a lot out there. When we got there, we got to see a couple of giraffes out there. So this was a great way for us to waste some time while we checked in and wait for our room to get ready. There is also a waiting room if you do want to sit down and just relax that has a TV for kids and just a relaxing atmosphere. We also post a daily adventures for both resorts. So you can go check that out and see what's kind of going on. They also do have a community room with some games for the kids and stuff to play in and a game room. But Hayden and I decided to go ahead and walk around and look at all the different artwork and it's impressive. Take the time to look at it and especially if you're waiting for your room, why not? I love the lights. It's actually kind of almost romantic. Beautiful. Okay, so we got done with our day. It didn't seem like we did a whole lot, and unfortunately the video is not going to show everything we did, but we actually did have a pretty busy day. We did. We transferred um, from Polly here to Kidani Lodge. We spent a lot of time sitting around. Yeah, unfortunately we had to wait for our room to be ready, and from the transfer, your room is usually not ready until about 4 o'clock. So first of all, Michael, uh, we said goodbye to Michael. And my sister-in-law Yesenia and the kids and that was sad and then we moved from the poly over to Kadani. yeah Village. and then uh, we had to take an uber because unfortunately or not uber we took a lift <laughs> unfortunately they will not allow any luggage on the Disney transportation center so we had to take a lift over here and if you watch out for our video how to do a transfer uh, split and what's, yeah, split stay and what, what to expect Back. and how to go about it and the little tips they give us along the way. Now I'll give you a lot more detail what we, we went through. Yeah, so we're going to sit down and we'll talk about that and go through our tips that we learned mm -hmm. and what we think about it. Then we got a beautiful room, so watch it, that one on our room tour. <laughs> so our room is gorgeous. Cool. We love it. Yeah, it's absolutely beautiful. It's huge for a two bedroom. Yeah. Uh, we feel like we could spread out. Um, yeah. The only thing that we found after staying at the Poly in a studio, there was plenty of room to put our luggage and not so much here. I would say, caution that though, there's not so much room in the master bedroom. Okay, right. So the second bedroom did have more space, but they kind of, in a way, have to share it with whoever's staying in the living room. Yeah, and uh, so we're kind of trying to find where our luggage is, but. The other thing is, is that we've stayed at Copper Creek before, mm -hmm. and this room is by far a lot larger, and a lot it more is. roomy, and a lot more comfortable. So after we got settled, um, we went over to Animal Kingdom Park, and we went on Flight of Passage. We went on Expedition Everest. We had dinner at Tiffin's, and we have a review coming out on that. that. Yes, and then we went to Dinosaur. And back we got, to back, twice. 
Didn't even have to get out of the car. Just got to go twice. Which is kind of cool because I've never gotten to do that. So yeah. that was fun. So then we got back here and we did a short tour as you'll see of Jumbo House. Went to the main, uh, which is absolutely mm -hmm. gorgeous. Jumbo is huge and gorgeous inside. It is. The only thing was, it's almost too big. Yeah, there was a lot of people there. The buses, you notice when you get off the bus, there is a lot of people on that bus for Jumbo. There is. And to get tomorrow, which is their quick service, counter service meal, it was really, yeah. it was far away from everything. You had to go outside and around to you get had to, to go, it. You had to go down by Boma and Jitco and then go out the doors and we were on a corner, pool. corner pool. Yeah, it was a little bit of a thing. And they did have a lot of food and a lot of options in there though. They did, but just, I, it, we've seen a lot of resorts here now. And to me, it was kind of a walk. Yeah. Especially depending where you were staying, I could imagine that could be a really long walk. And Kidani was so far has been, everything's been fairly close yeah. for us. It's smaller, but that's it's, fine. It's a little bit more peaceful. I like no. that. We're not as dealing with many crowds. No. And even, okay, so one of my concerns about coming over here was I realized there wasn't a quick service and what were we going to do with our refillable mugs? So the gift shop has a little station where they have the refillable mugs. Yeah, and it, they have the zebra domes in the Chawadi shop. So you have a little bit, don't have as much stuff here as you do over at Jumbo, but. Right. Um, so their, their gift shop. Is huge. Zawadi. Zawadi, and yeah, yeah and I'll have it's a gorgeous. picture going right now over us. The, I love the artwork that they have there. They have more options from, from all the parks to shop for, it is a much nicer gift shop. Yeah, by far, and there's a lot more stuff there. But ironically- There's more restaurants there, there's a bigger bar. Mm -hmm. There is a restaurant sauna here at Kidani mm -hmm. Village, but it's not as many restaurants as over at Jumbo. But really the ride from Jumbo over it wasn't bad that we literally no, there's just- there's a shuttle. There's a shuttle, you catch the Disney Spring shuttle and it just brings you right over to uh, Kidani. We waited, what, maybe 15 minutes? 10, 15, not too bad. Not too bad, and they say it's probably about every 20 minutes is from what I was remembering they were saying. Yeah. But anyways, it's just, it, I, I'm actually glad. And plus, Kidani, the biggest difference for a DVC room is if you go one bedroom or two bedroom, you get a third bathroom. Yes. Or a second bathroom. So, so we, it's, it's we a have, big deal. Yeah, we have three full bathrooms, so one for each, er, so one Almost for each Almost one for each of us, there's four yeah. of us, but. So you can imagine three bathrooms is a big deal if you have a big group of eight. Yeah, especially with showers and trying to get ready, yeah. just or just using the bathroom. <laughs> so, yeah. um, other than that, so yeah, that's. We had a good day, and we're yeah. we called it an early evening. We're gonna start amping up. We are gonna vlog more. Uh, when my brother and family was here, we didn't vlog as much because we didn't want to miss out on that experience yeah that. unfortunately we we're really trying to spend a lot of time with them because we don't get to see them all the time and so we and were, it was their first time here at walt disney World. yeah and also we're going to go through what we saw through their eyes too right so we learned a lot like what would it be like in the first time coming to disney because they gave us a lot of information about what they felt that we didn't realize because we've been veterans. And we're used to doing things. We know where we're going, we know what to do, and how fast we're going to do it. And we know how stuff. to plan. Yes. So there's definitely, um, I could see where things would be different. So we're gonna talk about that at one point. So we'll sit down and talk about what their experience was to compare, compare what we had planned and what they were expecting. Exactly, because it was, it, it was really interesting to hear from their viewpoint. Yeah, and it's hard for us to see it because we've done this so many times. So be on the lookout for that. But I think with that, it's time for us to get some sleep and bed and say goodnight and find, find your, your magic. magic. Good night, everybody. Everyone.